Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is to, um, I just unloose these twists real quick. The first thing you want to do is to part out just a thin layer going around the top of the twist. So the border of it, see what I mean? It's really, really thin. And go ahead and clip that out of the way. I'm going to use this leopard clip. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and attach it. Now, if you choose to not do the invisible method, you can just go ahead and attach your Havana twist just the regular way, um, doing the twist method. And you just twist it opposite way, and it attached just fine. That's how they did it in the picture. Um, I want a really secure hold. So I braid mine on, so you just take the hair, put it over your hair, and you braid down three times. One, two, three, and then on the fourth one, you're going to separate your hair, my hair is right here, into two, and put half of it with one half of the hair, and the other half of my hair with the other half of this hair, okay? So here's how much braid I have. Barely any, but yeah. Um, now you want to bring this other hair back that you had separated. Um, the trick with this is you don't want to braid um, going down. You don't want to twist going down. You want to kind of hold it out because that's going to give you a more secure hold to the root. So this hair that you have here, the extra hair at the top, split it into two. Put one half with one twist, the other half with the other twist. And get as close to the root as you possibly can with them. So like so. And start twisting. This is not kinky twist, so you are not supposed to be twist, don't twist your fingers like this. You're literally just twisting the hair as you go down. Now, you want to make sure that you detangle or finger comb this hair is what I've learned so finger comb it after it's attached okay and you may need to keep finger combing as you go down a little bit Like I said, do not. I know it's habit because of, especially those of us who do kinky twists, it's habit to just want to like twist your hand around. These, you just want to twist them like if you're two strand twisting your own hair. I twist them all the way down to the end. Then I twirl my finger around. Um, in that one twist alone, this is the thing about this hair. You do get a lot of shed hair coming out. This is how much hair came out on that twist, just by itself. But what's left of it is very soft hair, um, and so I like it. Alright, so this is what my twist looks like. Oh, I found a fluffy spot. Should have twisted this side a little bit. And here are my roots. See? You can't even see where it's attached. Okay. Alright, so that's pretty much what I do. And I'm just going to go ahead and repeat the same stuff with these last two twists. My hair um, prepped for this was washed, um, fully detangled. And I had I rocked a braid out for two days so that my hair could stretch. And if you look at it, I want to show you. Here's the difference in length between my hair 
and the finger comb are here. So there's this much that isn't mine. Come. I of it. This is on camera, but I can't stop this part. That was my husband. While you're twisting your hair and you're almost at the end, you want to make sure you go ahead and put some hot water on the stove in a pot to go ahead and start boiling. You're going to need that to curl your ends. Okay, you all, so um, I just went and got ready did my makeup <laughs> so um I need to get these out of my hair because I'm actually gonna be late I'm going to um one of my college college classmates son's birthday party so and I'm bringing my son so I need to like hurry up all right so I'm just gonna be taking these out so I'm gonna let my hands go free. My